And it's happened again. A second Polk County deputy has been shot in a little more than a week. This time, the deputy survived, saved by his bulletproof vest and maybe something else as well. Let's get right there to Fox 13's Ken Suarez of the Polk County Sheriff's Office with more Ken. You know, that's really the question, Mark. Why did he survive? He certainly could have been killed. Now, the simple answer is that he was saved by his vest, and maybe that's the size of it. But you may also believe something much bigger is going on here. Investigators say Gabriel Batista let his emotions boil over with life-altering consequences. We know domestic violence cases are very, very dangerous, and as a result, he shot one of my deputies last night. We take a very dim view about that. Around 10 Wednesday night, Batista came to the home of his estranged wife in Tanglewood Preserve in Davenport. They argued, and she called 911. When deputies arrived, they asked Batista to show them what was in his hands, which were behind his back. When he refused, and Deputy Nicole Lyons tried to taser him, Batista pulled out a gun and shot Deputy Tony Nunez squarely in the chest. The bullet hit his vest and something he always wears, a St. Michael's medal. He was wearing his St. Michael's medallion that he says he never leaves home without. As a result, he has a scuff mark on his chest. We believe is where the bullet struck through the vest to the St. Michael's and that's what caused the scratch. A scratch. That's it. Nunez fired off one shot at Batista, then his gun jammed. Later, Batista's family members told investigators what he said before deputies got there. These guys are going to have to kill me. I'm going to make them kill me. But he survived. I'm sorry, the gun jammed. He needed shooting a lot. And we would have fulfilled his request. Batista is charged with attempted murder, and Nunez was treated and released from the hospital. We understand that he is doing just fine. Mark? Anxious to see that uh, St. Michael medal back in action as well. So glad he's okay. Ken, thanks.